recent years, a lot of public attention has been drawn to small businesses and giving them the support they need. This has been exemplified in the creation of Small Business Saturday, an event created by American Express, which seeks to promote small businesses and get communities more interested in them. The event, which was started in 2010, has since brought a lot of attention to small businesses and gotten the communities they are a part of to take notice. This in turn benefits the communities, as a 2012 study by Civic Economics found that 83% of small businesses' revenue was returned to the community, while national chains only gave back 30%. In addition to economic return from these businesses, each small business has a story and has a profound social effect on the community, making them all the more important. In order to look into this more, we traveled to multiple stores to investigate further into their stories and what exactly they give back to the community. I'm Janet Avila and owner of String Theory Yarn Company. We've been in business since 2004, so 11 and a half years. And uh, the reason I got started in it was I was looking for um, a new something new to do. I'd been laid off of my other job, so I was looking for a new career. And I, um, really, I through this transition period, I did a lot of knitting, and I felt like it really helped me through a difficult time. And since then, I've done a lot of studies on. Um, how um, good it is for you, and so I wanted to bring that to people for all sorts of reasons, but I think more people should be knitting. So I decided to come up with um, this store and teach classes and hopefully spark some creativity in people so that they would um, do a lot of knitting. The bookstore has been here since 1960 in this location. Um, I started working here for one of the, uh, for the second owner. Uh, in 1985, I continued to work here uh, for the third owner, uh, who took over in 1987, um, and then in 1997 I bought it. So I've been here since 1997 as the owner. And so I'm Susan Delano, the Executive Director of Renew Project. Welcome to Renew. Um, so as I was saying, we have been in existence for five years. Renew started in 2009 under the leadership of Rebecca Sandberg, who is a graduate of Wheaton College. And I encourage you to visit our website, renewproject.org, and read her story because it is so compelling and her heart for women and her heart for refugees and her heart for creating a community of caring for other women so brilliantly and beautifully shines through. Um, so we received nonprofit status in 2010. Prior to our move to downtown Glen Allen, we were up in the old Scripture Press building. And earlier this fall, an opportunity came across our path. But the stories don't end there. Small businesses actually employ over half of all working Americans each one bringing their own unique experience to these stores. Um, we have a lot of, well, we only have natural fiber here, so we're not selling acrylics. Um, so cotton, wool, bamboo, silk, and um, we try and find yarns that are socially responsible and environmentally friendly. So companies that are looking to make the world a better place. We have we try and support artists as well, so hand painted yarns we bring those in. One of the ways that I feel that Renew is unique compared to some of the other businesses in downtown Glen Ellen is that um, because we are cultivating an environment here that is really based on dignity, kindness, compassion, creativity, respect and kindness, we are creating a safe environment for our, the refugee artisans who are here, who have endured so much suffering and so much trauma as a result of being forced to flee their homeland. And by being very intentional in how we engage these women and the way that we care for them and love them, so when I walk into a small business, I, I go there for the selection, a unique selection. I walk into a Dunkin' Donuts, I get the same old donut every time I go in. 
when you go to a small business, you get a cult with multiple cultures represented, not just one, not just the regular culture. You know, it's a mix of cultures. You get Indian culture, you get Mexican culture, and just an authentic take on it. This cultural diversity is on the rise as well, with the number of ethnic minority business owners growing from 11.5% in 2007 to 14.6% in 2012. I think that um, if, if people are good at customer service and are somebody who's interested in it and um, are willing to do things that, uh, that support the community, then the community is very responsive to that. Love Glen Ellen. Love, love Glen Ellen. People in Glen Ellen are passionate about their downtown um, and they really want it to thrive and so they're willing to um, make the financial equipment, uh, commitment that it takes you know, to have a store survive, they're, um, they're willing, you know, they want to tell their friends about it, they want to shop downtown, they purposely come. Shopping local is um, something that people are passionate about, so um, I like it for that reason. I also like the merchants here are, um, it's a really cohesive group. So I know a lot of the other store owners, we collaborate on things, we exchange ideas, there's a lot of um, generosity and of information. I think uh, small businesses are essential in America because these days big businesses are kind of like taking over what America really represents. Small businesses actually represent the people the most because it actually shows what they want rather than like just taking over control with power and money and uh, you know like small businesses they have to take care of their like customers because they don't have a business and if they take care of them they're going to be treated the best. So small businesses are pretty important in society.